In example two, we're determining the nth terms of sequences. So now that we've got kind of the basics out of the way, we'll look at some more problems to give you a better idea of how this actually works. So for these three problems, I actually give you the nth term formula, and I want you to tell me what the first five terms are. Try this on your own first. If you need to, watch me work through a sub n, and then try b sub n and c sub n on your own. For a sub n, I want to figure out the first five terms. So I plug in 1 to figure out the first term. This gives me 5 times 1 minus 2, which is 3. For the second term, I plug in 2 for n. I get 5 times 2 minus 2, which is 8. For the third term, I plug in 3. 5 times 3 minus 2 is 13. And if I continue to plug in, this pattern will repeat. So it gives me the sequence 3, 8, 13, 18, 23. Those are my first five terms. And if I notice, I'm adding 5 each time. And that repeated addition of 5 is represented by this multiplication of 5n. Okay, let's try b sub n now. For the first term, I plug in 1, so I get negative 1 to the 1 plus 1 over 2, which is negative, or just 0 over 2, which is 0. For a sub 2, I plug in 2, I get negative 1 squared plus 1 over 2. Negative 1 squared is a positive 1, so this gives me 2 over 2, which is 1. a sub 3, I get negative 1 cubed. My negative 1 goes back to being negative now, so I get 0 over 2, which is 0. And again, this pattern continues. I get 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 for my first five terms. The awesome thing about this one, and you'll recognize this the more familiar you get with sequences and series, is whenever you see a negative 1 to an exponent, it ends up changing the sign, it lets you bounce back and forth between positives and negatives. Because here I get negative 1, positive 1, negative 1, and then negative 1 to the fourth, but again give me a positive 1. It's a cool way to change the signs back and forth. All right, lastly, let's look at c sub n. For the first term, I plug in 1, so I get 1 over 1 plus 1, which is 1 half. Second term, I plug in 2. I get 2 over 2 plus 1, which is 2 thirds. Third one, I plug in 3. I get 3 over 3 plus 1, which is 3 fourths. Hopefully, you're picking up on this pattern. The numerator and the denominator increase by 1 each time. So I get 1 half, 2 thirds, 3 fourths, 4 fifths, 5 sixths. And that's my first five terms of that sequence.